Azure Certification AZ104 is a level two exam that should be done by administrators and include topics like identity and access management, storage, compute, networking, and backup and restore, including monitoring. What are the different subtopics that you need to learn in each of these five topics, including what to expect in exam AZ104? I'm going to cover all this in today's episode. Welcome to the weekly video series with me, Atul Kumar from Team K2 Academy, where we teach you how to go from a complete beginner, starting from Azure fundamentals to all the way to an expert or specialist in cloud. So to give you some context, we recently had a free training on Azure administration where I invited Microsoft certified uh, trainer and Azure expert Eva and asked her a couple of questions on how to prepare for Azure administration certification AZ104. So I've taken a small clip from that entire two hours free training. In that training, she first starts with role-based uh, certifications available for Azure Cloud right from Azure Fundamentals. That's uh, the first thing, which is AZ900. Then Azure Administration, which is AZ104, earlier AZ103. Then other uh, level three certifications covering DevOps, which is AZ400 or solution architect that includes two certifications, AZ300 and 301. Then she then covers who this Azure administration certification AZ104 is, what is the exam weight is in each of these topics, and what are topics you should be learning when you're preparing for Azure administration AZ104. Now, AZ4 is more or less same as AZ103 with some minor changes, which I'll probably might cover in the, one of the future episodes. So let's see what she has to talk about this Azure Administration Certification AZ104. There are three different roles, yeah? The first one is one star. You may be targeting to be a developer in cloud or an infrastructure architect in cloud or SAP person in cloud or a security person in cloud. But the first step is always AZ900. This is AZ900 with one star. And here are some of the examples of two star program wherein this is what we are going to talk about today. And that is AZ104. Previously, it was called AZ103. If you really want to advance your career to a partially technical, partially management or decision making techie, yeah, these days these are all hot, des hot designations, isn't it? A techie who is able to sell, a techie who is able to handle finance, a techie who is able to take decision. Then this is a three star program, which is AZ 300. Sorry, this is DevOps. So this is AZ 400. And here is where you have this infrastructure solution architect. And if you are from on premise, infrastructure background you are definitely definitely a hot cake trust me sir there are many companies who are highly biased between these two type of resume type a a person who's very good in azure cloud type b a person who's good in both on premises and in azure cloud people so this three star is a combination of three or two different certification 300 and 301 and we do have some certifications for specialized workloads for example sap on azure Azure uh, Stack, Hypervisor, all these are specialized variety for if you want to specialize on any particular workload. So if you see this, this is released by Microsoft. Even you can, when you go through this 104 exam guidelines, you can see this particular screenshot wherein they have striked out some of it. If you see 104, AZ 104, sorry, 103 is the previous version of it. Exactly a month back, it became 104. And this is the fifth version of Azure Administration Certificate. In 103, we were speaking only about virtual machines, which is an infrastructure as a service product. But it's a very matured market now, wherein administrators are supposed to focus on both infrastructure as well as platform as a service. Together, this is called the compute of Azure. And as an administrator, you need to be good in both these technologies. What are these products wherein we will cover here? What are these products wherein we will cover in IaaS compute and in PaaS compute? We will look into this, but 104 is for administrators who is aiming to focus both infrastructure as well as PaaS, but mainly infrastructure only when it comes to compute. And 
regarding exam. So the way we are going to teach it K to one, the first one, it is for the job. The second one, because some of you may be aiming for job switch after this program. And the second one is your, uh, your work, your everyday work. If you, probably you are an Azure administrator already, or you are an on-premise administrator, wherein your organization had moved to Azure very recently and they have allocated you for Azure project. So how can you efficiently do everyday work mainly without escalation? Yeah, because as administrators, uh, I mean, we have come across a lot of escalation from administrators because they are the ones who interact with Azure portal day in and day out, wherein we can expect some errors also. And the third one is certification it's not necessarily in the order but these are the three different dimensions that we will cover in this program and when it comes to certification we will cover all these points individually also why 20 percentage what to expect why 35 percentage for this and what are all the things to expect from the exam perspective yeah now a little bit of deep dive on individual products or individual sessions the first topic is a 10,000 feet overview to Azure on hybrid identity, wherein we will discuss about, I mean, as administrators, you need to know about both the on-premise AD and Azure AD, along with the role-based access control. How can you efficiently manage your everyday Azure uh, subscriptions and alerts and build the usage optimization security part of it the first technical part of the actual uh, technical part of 104 starts with storage previously it used to be compute in 103 but here it is storage and along with that we will also see different types of compute products it covers both IaaS as well as pass together it is your compute and the expectation from 104 onwards from microsoft is that every administrator has to do both infrastructure plus platform the most important and the most interesting part of 104 microsoft gives a lot of importance to networking and a little bit of hybrid networking is something which is expected in AZ-104, but majority of the networking which is covered in this program is Azure networking. And do you need to have networking background? And what happens if you're already very good in networking? We will see in the individual slides. And the last but not the least, which is the different monitoring solution to make your everyday job easy. And how can we secure our data with different types of backup and what are all the proactive measures that I have. With this, you will be ready to go to the 104 exam, which is a very interesting exam, and then you will get your two star. Well, that was Eva talking all about Azure Administration Certification AZ-104. Now, if you want to understand more about Azure Administration or looking for Certification AZ-104, I have a free two-hour session with Eva where you can learn things like Azure Architecture, Active Directory, or AD Connect or Azure AD Connect, including resources, subscription, resource group, management group, what these means, including different type of storage or the new certification topic, which is Azure Kubernetes services, or one of the most important and the highest weightage, which is Azure networking or backup and recovery for as using Azure site recovery, including job opportunities related to Azure cloud. If you want to learn all this, then I would like to invite you for a free two hour session where we talk about why you should learn Azure Cloud, what is the certification roadmap for AZ-104, which was earlier AZ-103. What are the five topics that you need to learn, including where we go a little bit deep into what we have covered in this video. What are the differences between AZ-104 and 103, including the hands-on lab that you must perform in order to clear this certification and get a better paid job. So URL to register for this is ktonacademy.com forward slash AZ10402. If you're appearing for the certification or looking for a better highly paid job in Azure administration, then this is one of the free sessions that you don't want to miss. With that, this is Atul from team Ketone Academy, where we teach you from complete beginner in cloud to an expert in cloud. I'll see you next week with another topic in Azure administration. Till then, take care and bye for now.